Hi guys, it's Carol from Cape Cod Cottage Garden, Garden in Zone 7A. It is April 9th. I've been putting in a lot of my vegetables today. And for this video, I'm gonna be putting my brassicas. I have cabbage, um, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't know if you recall, but all of my plants went flying off my deck when I was hardening them off. So some of the plants, I, I, you know, I just shoved them in pots and some of them were mislabeled. So I'm pretty sure I have the Brussels sprouts and the cabbage <laughs> identified, but they look very similar at this stage, but I'm, I think I have it right. Um, and these things, look how huge they are. They're like little trees. They have to get into the ground. So I'm glad I'm doing it now. It's a little bit early, but I've been watching the weather in the next like week and a half. It's not even going to get below like, you know, mid forties at night. It's going to be really warm during the day. I hope it's not too warm. I do have them in the bed that has the insect cover, the hooped insect cover. I'll try to link a video up, um, a, li a link to the video that I made on how I built that up there when I do it. So let's get these things planted up. I'm losing daylight big time. It is almost six o'clock in the evening, but it's such a beautiful day today. So let's get this done. Um, before I do that, I will tell you what the varieties I am growing. I am growing mostly Waltham broccoli. Um, I did have a ton of Marathon broccoli, but that's the ones that mysteriously they all died, except for one. I think I have one Marathon broccoli left. And then for the cabbage, I mean, excuse me, Brussels sprouts, I'm doing, oh, what were they called? Here's the Brussels sprouts. You can see that they're very ready to go in the ground. They are called uh, green gem Brussels sprouts. And this is the broccoli. Little trees, ready to go. And the cabbage is smaller. And the cabbage I am growing is golden acre cabbage. Here you go. That's it. A lot of the cabbage I lost when it went over, when all my plants went over the side of the deck and crashed to the ground. So I'm lucky I have three. I do have two others over there, but they're really suffering. I'm trying to decide if I should pop them in or not. That will be like a game day's decision. So let's get these things planted up. I got that all planted up. I left space on the corner, so I'm probably gonna put some kind of flower in here. And I still have some more room. I don't know what else I'm gonna put in here, but I'll get to it. Right now I just have to make up the tags. So I have green gem Brussels sprouts. I put those in the middle um, because it's tallest in the middle and the Brussels sprouts get the tallest. And today is April ninth put that right in there and then i have marathon broccoli which most of it is uh, excuse me no most of it's waltham broccoli where was my one marathon broccoli oh right down there marathon broccoli and actually i'm not even sure because when these things went over the deck i mixed them up but i gave it my best guess so I'll put that right there for Marathon Broccoli. And then I have the Waltham Broccoli, which is everything else, all the other broccoli in here. So where do I put the tag? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Before I planted these plants, I did sprinkle on some plant tone all over. I did put a little bit of bone meal too, and I mixed it in really well. And um that I planted. It's been a long day, so sorry if I'm stumbling over my words. I've been at, at doing this garden all day today, but I'm just was so blessed with the weather. So I had to take advantage.
morning. It's a beautiful day. It's about 45 degrees, April 10th. It's going to be a lovely day. I wish I could stay here all day, but I only have a few hours. But I did plant up a lot of stuff yesterday, and I just wanted to show you what I did. My camera actually died in the middle of filming, but here's a little update. I did get a lot of my onions planted. Not all of them. Looks like they fared well overnight. But I got, I have, don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my onions. I have to figure that out. Here's my onion bed. I'm also going to put carrots in here. My lettuce did well overnight. As you can see, it's looking good. Look at that lettuce. Some of it's still in shadow because the sun's coming up. I did put in my peas. I put in sugar snap peas, garden sweet peas, and easy peasy peas. And besides that, I have, oh, I don't know how I'm going to show this. I guess I'll have to lift it. But this is my um, brassica bed. Let me open up my hinged row cover here. Hang on a second. Sorry. Oops. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm holding the camera and trying to do this one-handed. There we go. Okay. So now you can get a better look. Let me come from the other side. So the sun is not glaring. So here's my brassica bed. They did well overnight. I have cabbage here. I have broccoli, broccoli at that from there. Whoops, right there and up is Brussels sprouts and some more broccoli. <laughs> I learned so much in my first day of planting in this garden. <laughs> I planted this up, not realizing I had another whole tray of broccoli. So I ended up putting the broccoli over here, <laughs> some more broccoli. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine broccoli plants over here. And then I have some spinach and some celery doing nicely. So everything's doing well. I did buy the spinach and the celery. These are the only things so far that I haven't um, grown from seed. So that's it. So today I'm going to plant up some carrots and some other things. So let's get going. I don't have much time today. some radishes. The radishes I'm going to be planting are the Solaris Hybrid and also my friend from work got me these watermelon radishes. So let's try those. So first as always I'm going to put them in these two squares here. Just one each for now. I'm going to try to um, succession sow these. I'm just going to throw some fertilizer. And mix it in. The soil's really, well, I guess it's moist underneath. I was going to say it's very dry, but I'll be sure to water all this stuff in. I'm running out of time quickly. I do have to, I'm hoping to get to prune my roses and my hydrangeas before I have to leave, but I always put way, way more on my plate than I can do. I would stay all day, but I actually have a doctor's appointment. So I have to leave. It's such a challenge to garden here and then live half time someplace else. I mean, I can't watch my garden every day. I kind of leave it up to the mercy of the weather and everything. I, I would like nothing more than that to be different. But unfortunately, the, we have to deal with what we're dealt. It's not that <laughs> terrible. I have a very, very good life. I can't complain. I just want to be here, of course. Okay, so let's see. For radishes, you plant them 16 per square. How deep? Half inch, a little deeper on these ones. These are the watermelon radishes. Let's do those first. I won't bore you by making me wa watch you do all of them. I'll just do a couple. 
and I think I will use the handy dandy square to do mine. Well, these squares are bigger. Yesterday, the string broke when we were putting up the fence, and my my son put it in. I think it just is it's just loose. So I'll just use this. Good thing I have this. See, not that it matters to be that precise, but we might as well start with our best step foot forward. Yeah, the challenge of gardening and living in two separate places. Like, I have to leave. If I could watch my plants every day, like, come out and check on them. Like, like if it gets cold, put a row cover on them. I don't have that option. So I'm really at the mercy of the weather. It takes me about an hour and 45 minutes to get here from my home. And I don't know if you know, but I work some nights. Some days I work 12-hour shifts. Oops. So, um... I, it's not like I can just pop down here after work and then pop home. Look at these seeds. These were the watermelon radish. Can you see them? I have this funny camera angle because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. And a half inch. That's about a half inch. Let's pop them in. I think these germinate really, grow really fast if I'm not mistaken. I can give you more information. I'll read about it. I think these are like really quick. Okay, I don't think you need to watch me do the whole row, so I'm going to stop here and continue. Okay, guys, now I'm going to plant some beets. These are called Blushing Not Bashful Beets from Fruition Seeds. They're supposed to be more mild. I'm looking forward to those. I like beets like in a salad. Radishes and beets, I think I'm the only one in my family that eats them. But I just think that's because they just haven't tried them enough. So I am going to force feed my family these vegetables. <laughs> I think prepared correctly, anything will taste delicious. When I was growing up, my mom was a firm believer in, <laughs> and it was kind of a bad habit. But we're blessed with a family that doesn't have cholesterol problems or blood pressure problems at all. Genetically, we're lucky. Um, so like she put butter and a little salt on a lot of our vegetables. You know what? We ate them and we grew to love vegetables. So it's better than not eating them at all growing up, I guess. Back then, they didn't really know too much about nutrition that way. Let's see. These have to go a half inch depth. And it's, I already forgot, nine per square. So that would be the yellow ones. Let me just take this thing off. Nine per square. Half inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very educational, stimulating video right here. <laughs> Me, I can count to nine. Okay, let's take a look at what beet seeds look like. So one thing my parents did instinctively know, because, I mean, no one really paid attention to nutrition that much back way back when. I'm not a young chicken, so this was a while ago. Um, is that we always ate whole foods. We never had processed foods. We always had a balanced diet. Meat, starch, veggies, lots of veggies actually. And a lot of the stuff was homegrown. So we didn't get a lot of the chemicals and stuff like that. So I think they did okay with us. Ooh, look at these. These are really cool seeds. These look like little pieces of granola or something. Let me see if I can show you. Can you focus please? can't get it to focus the sun's really strong can you see them yeah cool seeds so it says to plant them half inch depth it's so hard to judge i don't know if i should do two boxes of these did i prepare two i did yeah shoot i throw them in i can always share them with other people if i have too much at once I don't know how long these take to germinate. Let's see. Well, it's kind of cold, so it says 17 days at 55 degrees. I don't know how long they take to grow. I'll have to look it up. But this seriously has to be the last thing. I want to try to get to, um, if I'm, I'm probably repeating myself. I want to try to get to pruning my roses because they're starting to flush out. And my hydrangeas. I'm going to end up cutting off some 
leaves, but it must be done. The last, that's the problem, again, about not living here all the time is the last time I was here was two weeks ago and it was too early to do it. And now it's almost too late. So it's weird. I think from now on out, I don't have any other commitments. I can um, come down when I'm not working. And pretty soon, if not even this week, my husband will be here full time and my daughter will be home early May. So they can check on the garden for me. So it's only these next few weeks that are a little sketchy. But of course, that's the sketchiest time because we could get frost. There's none in the forecast. I mean, the forecast looks actually too hot. I think one day it's going to, down here, it's going to get to be like 75. That's too hot for April. If it feels this warm, actually, I need to take my coat off. It's only 48 degrees and I'm actually really hot in my jacket here. I can't imagine what 75 is going to feel like. I guess I'll just let you watch along with this one because I'm going to be quick. And then we'll close out this video because I think that's all I'm going to do today. I might plant one flower. See if I have a flower seed in there that can go in this early over in that carrot bed. But of course, I'll keep everybody updated on what I'm doing. I'm sure there'll be lots of videos coming if everything grows. I'd be so pleased if this stuff actually grows. My first time gardening on this level, this big, and growing everything from seed. At my old house, I had a tiny garden, just a little, one little square box. I did, did do pretty well, but I bought most of my plants. But that's it. So if you made it this far and you found this type of video relaxing, I'm glad you joined. It is a little mellow, but anything, see my head need, hold on. Let me put these away. Let's just prove that there is a head attached to this body that you've been watching plant. So anyways, thank you again for joining. This has been the most glorious weekend for me. I have been chomping at the bit to get out here and get planting. So it's really, really, really been wonderful. So thanks for joining. And if you're liking the content, you guys know what to do. Have a great day. Bye.